สมัยวิบลาวิบลาเซนาเพกไดสายชุมประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประธานประ Today, I'm pleased to take part in the opening of the 43rd General Assembly of ASEAN Inter-Parliamentary Assembly. I would like to extend my warm welcome to all delegates for spending the invaluable time to physically attend this historic event. In Phnom Penh City, as the rotating chair of ASEAN in 2022, Cambodia is honored to host the 43rd General Assembly of ASEAN Inter-Parliamentary Assembly in conjunction with the celebration of 55th anniversary of the establishment of ASEAN. Over the past three years, we have been very satisfied with the concerted efforts of ASEAN working together as a unity to effectively to respond to the COVID-19 pandemic in the spirit of mutual understanding and assistance, particularly achieving grand success in the fight against the pandemic. Until we could reopen of our countries and restore of our respective economy. However, the world continues confronting with many challenges, including geopolitical rivalry, war, trade and economic polarization, climate change, and natural disasters. Which has not severely strengthened the life of people, but also dampened global economic recovery, including causing increasing inflationary pressure, supply chain disruption, and food and energy. Insecurity, etc. In this context, the theme of the 43rd General Assembly of ASEAN Inter-Parliamentary Assembly, IPA, is relevant and appropriate, which will contribute to an inspiring sense of shared responsibilities to response to regional and global development in a timely manner, as well as accelerating as the social economic recovery toward common prosperity. Some like excellencies, madam, ladies and gentlemen, ASEAN has come a long way and is globally recognized as a core community of regional architectures. As the rotating chair of ASEAN in 2022, under the theme ASEAN Act addressing challenges together, Cambodia is indeed proud to have navigate ASEAN in addressing difficult challenges facing our region and making significant achievements to expedite the building process of ASEAN community in accordance with ASEAN core spirit of one vision, one identity, one community. In fact, with commitment as the ASEAN chair, and the support from ASEAN member states, Cambodia has proudly achieved success in hosting the 40th and 41st ASEAN summit and related summits with the adoption 
ຊຸສະກາຍຊາຍການຂອງພະນັກດຳລົງອາເຊຍອາເຊຍດິເຄເຣຊັ່ນອອນບິລດິ່ງມໍເຕີຊິບໃນປີ 2025 to keep pace with digital transformation and enhance the role of women and youth to increase economic productivity and stimulate economic growth in the post-COVID-19 era. On climate change issues, Cambodia has also proposed the formation of ASEAN Green Deal Initiative at the recent ASEAN Summit to reorient regional development toward ASEAN Sustainable Green Future. ASEAN is also scaling up concerted efforts to implement Three action plan and initiative to derive maximum profit from the opportunities arising from global trend, including digitalization, circular economy, green economy, development of micro, small, medium enterprises. ແລະຕະກິດປະຊາຊົນທີ່ຕ້ອງຕ້ອງຕ້ອງຕ້ອງຕ້ອງຕ້ອງຕ້ອງຕ້ອງຕ້ອງຕ້ອງຕ້ອ
as well as to demonstrate as the commitment to strengthening relations with partners based on the principle of trust and mutual respect for regional, global peace and prosperity. Some like Excellencies, Madam, Ladies and Gentlemen, Taking this opportunity, I would like to congratulate the success of the recent APEC summit hosted by Thailand and the G20 summit hosted by Indonesia. And I firmly believe that the success of ASEAN, APEC and G20 summit hosted by ASEAN member states this year will make significant contributions to enhancing ASEAN prestige and centrality in addressing common regional and global challenges. In the current context in which the world is facing many complex challenges, I would like to emphasize that Parliament, especially the National Assembly, Indeed, have a crucial and indispensable role in contributing to resolving regional and global issues. In this spirit, I am proud to you that the celebration of the 43rd General Assembly of ASEAN Inter-Parliament Assembly provide area opportunities for some black excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I delegate to join the discussion on a wide range of topics with the common objective of strengthening our cooperation into a unity and identifying policies, recommendations, especially a joint position for the interests of our people. Finally, I would like to wish the 43rd General Assembly of ASEAN Inter-Parliamentary Assembly success. And wish some like excellencies, madam, ladies and gentlemen, good health and success in all your endeavors, especially the comfortable and pleasant stay in the Kingdom of Cambodia. Thank you for your kind attention. Thank you so much, Samdak Dejo, Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Cambodia, for your meaningful keynote address.